the, the class that I just taught is sixth grade American history. It's the first part that goes up to the Civil War. <clears throat> it's the conclusion of the Civil War, and it has Abraham Lincoln being assassinated. We are just entering the period of Reconstruction. It's a springboard for the seventh grade teachers to pick up next year. And I ask a series of uh, routine questions. Uh, usually I have them write it down. Again, it's another way of learning, being tactile. But simple questions like, what do you see? Speak to me. What do you notice about this image up here? Anything. Aiden. He's got a really good looking mustache. Ah, great looking mustache. Yes. <laughs> do we usually see a lot of mustaches like this? Not a lot today. Not a lot today. Isabel. Um, well, there's like a hand showing in the picture, and you said look at constant work there in the end. Ah, but there's one catch when we talked about that. What's the difference oh. with this image compared to the images during the Revolutionary period? Libby. Um, they invented the camera before the Civil War. Yes, the camera has been invented. Is this a portrait? Is this a portrait, or what is it? A photograph, right. This is a photograph. So we know that it's sometime after the photograph was invented, which was just before the Civil War period. What do you see? Rachel. He has a cane. He has a cane. Excellent. What else do you see? He's posed. He looks like he's very stiff, maybe posed. Nice job. What else do you see? It looks like he's wearing a nice jacket. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at that material. Does it look uh, like it would be cheap for that time period? No. no, not at all. What do you see? It looks like he's like looking out into the distance or something. He's not looking directly at the camera. He's gazing off, like in thought. Then we'll progress to the idea of um, what kind of inferences can be made. Uh, he's like famous. Why do you say, think he might be famous? Um, because like they like they kept the picture after like like a lot of very years. possible that if they've kept this picture all these years, he might have been a famous person. I like your logic. Uh, there might be something wrong with his leg. Oh, there could be something wrong with his leg if he's got a cane with him. Good job, guys. <laughs> Finally, we'll start to bring it home to what is actually happening, and I think that that's primarily my role. As a matter of fact, this guy is pretty well-to-do. This guy is pretty famous. In fact, some people would go on to say that he <clears throat> yeah. is the most eligible and handsome man in America for that day and age. This is a real person, obviously. He is in the Civil War period. It's a person that's going to change history. This person is going to end up touching even our lives to today. This is during the black and white photograph era. And this person is going to end up being known not for a good thing, but for a bad thing. Does anybody want to take a guess? Anthony? He's the gentleman that assassinated President Lincoln. Does anybody know his name from history? Harmon? John Wilkes Booth is absolutely correct. They, they want to know more, in this case, about John Wilkes Booth. And, and then we'll talk about Lincoln and the assassination. They want to know more. It's a, it's a step process, a building step.